Good morning. If you are watching this video, you should be in my Wednesday Suzuki Stars class. So welcome. It is good to see you guys. I miss you very, very much. Um, life is very different having to do this at home. I have two children that are around bugging me all day. I have a dog that's bugging me all day. So um, you might see them, you might hear them. My boys right now are downstairs doing their soccer videos, their soccer homework. Um, so if you hear thumping, it's because they are kicking the soccer ball. <laughs> it's very exciting. So my goal um, each week is to get you one, hopefully two videos, and it's proving to take a long time to get them uploaded into YouTube. Um, but I am doing my best, so thank you for being patient. Um, <clears throat> you guys are my last class and I'm finally getting to it, so I'm sorry how that has all turned out. Um, but I started with my littlest and going to my oldest. So I'm finally getting through all round one of my groups. Um, a couple things to think about in the future. See what you can find around your house that could be an instrument. So wooden spoons um, or some kind of kitchen utensils could be rhythm sticks. Um, drums, we could use empty plastic jugs or pots and pans. Um, shakers, something, um, you know, those Easter shakers, those Easter eggs that are, you know, Easter coming up. Um, if you could put rice or beans in there, those could be our egg shakers. But start thinking of some things that we could use. We are in a little bit of a different situation than my younger classes because we feature these Suzuki instruments. I don't own all the Suzuki instruments. So um, <clears throat> I'm digging deep to be creative. Um, the instrument that we're gonna feature today is not one that we normally would do in Suzuki Stars, but it is kind of a cool one that we don't get our hands on um, and get the opportunity to see very often. It is called the kalimba. This is um, a kalimba. A thumb piano is also a very common name for it. Um, but I'm going to talk a little bit about that later in our video um, so that you can hear what it sounds like, learn a little bit about the instrument. Um, and so I still hope to feature some kind of an instrument. Now, you guys know I have a son who plays the cello, so you will get to, um, we will have a cello day. <laughs> but I don't have a bass anymore and I don't have a violin and I have saxophones and I have clarinets and I have trumpets. Um, so they might make an appearance. Um, here within our video series. So anyways, if you already are not sitting crisscross applesauce, please go ahead and sit crisscross applesauce. We're gonna tap our beat on our knees as we sing hello to everyone today. I'm gonna sing hello to you just like we would in our regular music class. Cause you guys are the only Suzuki Stars class that I teach so I can really um, individualize it just for you. Forte 
voice for Esther. Hello, Esther! And Sammy's here today. Oh, Sammy's here today. Everybody say hooray! Hooray! Cause Sammy's here today. Let's use our piano voice for Sammy. Hello, Sammy. And Max is here today. Oh, Max is here today. Everybody say hooray! Hooray! Cause Max is here today. Let's use our forte voice for Max. Hello, Max. And Eliza's here today. Oh, Eliza's here today. Everybody say hooray! Hooray! Cause Eliza's here today. Let's use our piano voice for Eliza. Hello, Eliza. And Hadley's here today. Oh, Hadley's here today. Everybody say hooray! Hooray! Cause Hadley's here today. Let's use our forte voice for Hadley. Hello, Hadley. Will you sing hello to me? Oh, Carrie's here today, oh, Carrie's here today, everybody say hooray, hooray, cause Carrie's here today. Let's use our piano voice for Carrie. Hello, teacher Carrie. All right, good job. Thank you for singing hello to me. Stand on up. We're going to shake some sillies out. So we're going to shake our whole body. Are you ready? I'm going to try not to um, drop my guitar while I do this, but this is a good one. All right, so stand it up, get ready. We're gonna shake, shake, shake the sillies out, shake, shake, shake the sillies out, shake, shake, shake the sillies out, we'll always be away. Keep shaking, shake, shake, shake the sillies out, shake, shake, shake the sillies out, shake, shake, shake the sillies out, we'll always be away. Let's jump our jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, Jump our jiggles out, we will our wings away. Jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, we will our wings away. And let's spin our crazies out. Spin, 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 We're gonna go presto. Do you remember what that means? Very fast. Here we go. Shake, shake, shake the silly dog. Shake, shake, shake the silly dog. Shake, shake, shake the silly dog. We love it the way. We love it the way. That song is so tiring for me. Good job. All right. We are going to. You guys can sit back down. And um, if you know how to sit crisscross applesauce, go ahead and do that. And we are gonna do, oh, I just saw my son going upstairs. Do as I'm doing. All right, so let's go and tap our legs. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it high or low, if I do it fast, or slow adagio. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Good, let's change it. Tap as I'm tapping, follow, follow me. Tap as I'm tapping, follow, follow me. If I do it hard, or low, if I do it fast or slow, adagio. Tap as I'm tapping, follow, follow me. Tap as I'm tapping, follow, follow me. Good, let's do a new one. Hmm. Can you snap? Try to snap your fingers. Snap as I'm snapping, follow, follow me. Snap as I'm snapping. Been, follow, follow me. If I'm snapping high or low, if I'm snapping fast or slow, adagio. Snap as I'm snapping, follow, follow me. Snap as I'm snapping, follow, follow me. Let's do one more. Let's tap our chins. Tap as I'm tapping. 
tapping, follow, follow me. Tap as I'm tapping, follow, follow me. If I'm tapping high or low, if I'm tapping fast or slow, adagio. Tap as I'm tapping, follow, follow me. Tap as I'm tapping, follow, follow me. Good job. All right, we are gonna review our rhythms. So the two we're gonna review today are tititas and pepperoni pizza or chugga chugga choo choo. So let's tap on our head. T T T T T T ta. 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 Good. All right. You find a new place where you can tap. So maybe you want to tap on your toes. Maybe you want to tap on the floor. Maybe you want to tap on your grown-up's back. You find a new spot. This time I'm going to play guitar. I'll say it with you, but you're tapping. All right, here we go. T T T T T T ta. 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 Good job. All right, are you ready to change the words? So we're gonna change it now to pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Are you ready? Find a new spot to tap. Maybe you're tapping your nose this time. Maybe you're tapping your tummy. But here we go. that I was telling you about. So this instrument, I actually bought this um, up in Door County, Wisconsin. So if you look at the back of it, can you see what kind of instrument, what, like what it is? It's actually one of those gourds. We can grow these here in Minnesota. Um, but this person probably grew this gourd and then they took all the seeds and everything out on the inside. I've also seen them where they're, they're birdhouses, right? If you took these off, a little bird could live in there. Um, but they made it into an instrument. And you can see that circle in there is like the hole that's in uh, my guitar or like the F holes that we would find in any of our string instruments. That's where the sound comes out of. Now these things up here, let's see, how close can you see them? They're little tines. I'm not really sure. They probably have a real um, name, but they kind of remind me of little tines. So, when you when I put it up really close, you can see that there are numbers up here. And those numbers are correlated with our major scale. So I try to tune it as best as I can. It's not perfect, I won't lie. But um, here's how you play it. So it's called a kalimba or a thumb piano because we play it with our fingers. A lot of times you play it with like your thumb. I'm, I don't know if I can do it with my thumb and show you at the same time. I'm gonna use my fingers. Um, this instrument was invented or created in Africa. So it's originally in an African um, instrument called a lamellophone is the group of instruments it comes from. And that means a plate sound. 
So it can be played either as a solo instrument or you can play it as an accompaniment to um, other musicians. So it's pretty neat. So when I play it, I'm gonna put up close, so you can see it and hear it. Um, here is the sound it makes. Oops, I went the wrong way. It's kind of cool. It's not a very loud sound, but it has a really neat um, buzzing sound. I'm gonna do that major scale again. Kind of neat. Um, okay, so here's, I had to practice this to see if I could actually play Twinkle Twinkle. I'm gonna give it a shot. There might be um, some mistakes. Pretty cool, huh? So that's neat. It's called a kalimba. They estimate that it's anywhere from like 1,500 to 3,000 years old. That's pretty neat. You um, maybe have seen them. Sometimes they have ones that just look like little boxes, um, but they still have this sort of same kind of setup on it. Um, and you can retune them. So I had to very carefully unscrew this and try to wiggle them around and tune by my piano. <laughs> I tried hard. So anyways, so that is a kalimba or a thumb piano, or the original name was a, a Mirba, a Mabira, 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 that's how you say it, Mabira. Pretty cool. All right, so I think we are gonna get ready to sing our goodbye song. Like I said, I will, I'm gonna try to make, um, where'd I put my pick? It's lost in space. I'm gonna try to make another one of these videos yet this week and hopefully get it to you before the weekend. That is my goal because I know it is fun to have something um, used to what we were doing, right? What we used to always do in our music classes. So, find a spot to tap. Maybe it's your grown-ups at this time. Let's sing goodbye. today. I would encourage you to have a dance party at some point today and everybody dances. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you soon.